All right, here we are with my uh, next game. Um, Aragami. It's uh, an indie game, so it should, and I think it's fairly short, which is cool. I was uh, uh, kind of want to do a short game, a more casual game before I commit to something bigger, which I think is uh, it's fine. Um. I was planning to do this game uh, a little bit later, but it was uh, requested, so I figured, you know what, let's uh, play it, and honestly, when I opened the game up, I was really blown away by how good it looks. So yeah, ignore the, ignore this uh, continue chapter, it was just me doing some testing footage as us us uh, usual. And I gotta say, uh, the game runs really well, it looks really good, uh, hopefully... Hopefully the rest of the game we play as it did in the test footage. Uh, I did read some reviews uh, saying that there were some technical issues, but maybe those guys were playing on their homemade toasters. So yeah, for me, the test footage looked pretty amazing. So yeah, Aragami is a kind of stealth puzzle game. Where the puzzle basically is uh, getting through like these layouts with enemies and stuff, we'll see it right away. It's really chill, it sounds really chill, looks really chill. I think I said that twice, that's okay. So yeah. Um, we're gonna play through the story, and then this is a DLC that uh, I also got, so we'll play through that afterwards. Mm, yeah, some stuff you can unlock. Cool. Not bad. We're gonna go with the original, I think. Even though this isn't bad, but let's play with the original for now. So yeah, I hope this is gonna be fun. As I said, it's gonna be a fairly short one, I believe. I don't think it's a very long game. Um, so I'll be playing this while I prepare for my next big commitment. So, Alright, let's get into the tutorial. On you, single player, of course. Highest difficulty, because we are morons. Well, I am. You might be geniuses, but I am a moron. Let's go. Find hidden scrolls to unlock new skill. Oh, okay. I guess not. Chapter 1, Aragami. I actually forgot to mention a couple of things. Um, what was I going to mention? Oh, right. Um, the game uses this, like, Zelda-style dialogue where they just mumble in the background. Maybe they're mumbling in Japanese, maybe they're not, I'm not sure. But I will be reading the dialogue. I hope that is okay. I'll try my best to keep my English under control, so it doesn't, you know, run away. Because um, people are watching on, on their phone, or maybe they're leaning back and not, you know, not focusing too much on the screen or whatever. They might have a hard time reading the subtitles or the dialogues, so I'll be, I'll be reading it. Also, I forgot to do a <laughs> synchronization test, so just give me one second. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There's also something called skills. I didn't really check this out um, in the test footage. I just uh, did some control tests and whatnot. Uh, we'll get to it when we get to it, I guess. 
Attack. Just really quickly. Yeah. Okay, let's go. As you can see, the game looks amazing. For an indie game, it's absolutely amazing. Come here. Okay, let's go. Yamiko. Yeah, that sounds like Japanese to me. Uh, it worked. The ritual worked. A real aragami. It really did. I really did. <laughs> uh. Uh, my name is Yamiko. I'm the one who invoked you. What's your name? How do you feel? Uh... <laughs> I guess an aragami really is a blank state. Sorry, am I going too fast? You're an aragami, a vengeful spirit summoned through an ancient ritual. I wasn't sure if it would work. Vengeful? Question mark. Oh boy. Uh, yes. A clan called Kaio. They killed my people. They took our land. They have destroyed everything. We lost the war and they raised it all. Kaio. I'm one of the few who survived their attacks. They imprisoned me far away in the city's temple. What you're looking at now is just a projection okay i don't know how long they will keep me for or if they'll let me live you are my only hope Aragami. what am i supposed to do start as you might get far without a weapon follow me <laughs> okay so it's like this captured princess thing Locked gates. Okay, shadow leap. So this is how we move uh, predominantly. Aim at any other shadow in the environment and press right button to teleport to that shadow. The runes on your cape show you your current essence, current essence level. If you're low on essence, you won't be able to shadow leap. Okay. We got a uh, target shadows. So staying in the light it drains your uh, essence. So you see the cape. So you gotta run back into the shadows to recover. Yeah, shadow essence. You need shadow essence to use your abilities. Intense light sources will drain your energy, while staying in the shadows will refill it. And I think it's really cool that they you can kind of see the essence bar on your cape. It's really cool. You can see it recovering right here. Give me one moment. Okay, just double checking our recording. Yeah. There we go. Shift run. I think your powers could help us here. Okay. This is a ledge leap. Or a shadow shadow leap to the ledge. Got our sword. 
or some sort of a blade. It's a little bit short to be a conventional sword, but... Oh yeah, you can shadow leap to walls as well, actually. You won't stuck to them, uh, stick to them, but... Uh... That'd be interesting. A pretty cool visual effect. So the only time, at least I almost got spotted. The only time I figured out how to use the sword, even though I've only played to about this part, was uh, during these uh, kill sequences. So there's gonna be enemies around, as you'll see, and the puzzle is basically to get from one side the map to the other, I, I'm guessing, without uh, getting caught, so any perception. The amount of light around you affects how visible you are. Stay in the shadows and crouch to become less visible. Bright light sources can give away your position very quickly. Okay, so be careful, Kyle soldiers are light adepts, their swords are imbued with light essence. Don't even think about confronting them directly. So it's not a fighting game. <laughs> uh oh. That was close. <laughs> Wait, why is he coming over there? We get to see what happens when... Well, I failed this tutorial. So yeah, that happens when you get... Uh, let's pretend like I did that on purpose. So yeah, you die instantly. As far as uh, I understand it. Not gonna lie, when I did the test footage last night, I didn't know that that guy was there. There we go. Side or All right, this is the part where we can actually it's pretty cool we can jump into jump onto like a roofs or ceilings and stuff. For an indie game the visuals are really good. Like, I was actually blown away by how pretty the colors are. I did not expect it to be this good. Okay. Oh, this is as far as I've played. Um, 
here, this stage right here. And this is where I stopped last night. So from here on out, we are going in blind. I have zero idea what the collectibles look like, so... Might have passed them already, I don't know. So the guards don't even know why they're here. Something, somebody named Captain Yuki is dead. Murdered. Was ambushed in the forest. <coughs> Killed by an enemy assassin. Neither Yamiko or the Aragami knows what that's about. Let's see, your goal is to get over there. Question, should we kill everybody? Of course we should kill everybody. Oh. Right, <laughs> shadows. So you should try to kill them in in the shadows. Well, I definitely failed at that. Yeah. Oh shit. They, they see me? No, they're looking for me. Okay. okay. So this is what I this I was gonna say. Let's try to kill the guards in the shadows so that the other guards don't see them. Because if they see them, I see the corpse, they'll start looking for me. Oh shit! I think I just dodged it. Barely. I think I did, just barely dodged it. You don't have to go for the kill and everything. It would be kind of fun. Target. There was a guard that went inside here. No. Ah, and then the AI forgot that their friend is dead. <laughs> Bar. Hey, 
aerial kill you. Yes. A little bit of a tight uh, execution window, but... Gameplay is really well, actually. It's really smooth. It's really well done. So far, at least. Got to say, I'm very impressed. Wait for him to pass. Get up here? Nah, not close enough. Oh, I lose points when the corpse is found? Oh. I actually lose more points than I get for the kill itself. Not good. So this is me looking for a shadow leap uh, distance. Do it over here. Very good. Ah, fuck, he's going to find it. Yeah. Also, a little bit too many points. I was hoping to get in range to the, to leap on him there, but oh well. Oh well. It's not that easy, actually. <laughs> See, wow. Okay. Okay. We'll do better. Can I get some sort of a uh Overview of the mission. Oh, this again. Oh shit, not skip, sorry. Yamiko, I saw something, a vision. Side 2, the ritual, ritual must have created some kind of connection between us. And I had another one when I woke up, just before I met you. What does it mean? 
Who knows, there aren't many writings about the ritual used to invoke you. Hopefully we'll find out soon. Uh, let's get moving, can't have you evaporating at dawn. <laughs> okay, wait, what? Oh, didn't I tell you? Your body is made of shadows. If a ray of sunlight touches it... At this point, I'm just glad you told me at all. I'm sorry. Okay. Look, Aragami, there's a scroll in statue. Let's take a look. Alright. Locate scrolls to learn more about the past and unlock Aragami's potential. Open the skill screen by pressing F1 and invest skill points in new shadow techniques and upgrades. Alright. Um, shadow creation. Aim at any unlit surface to cast shadows. Oh, to cast shadows. This is like Amaterasu. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm guessing this is what they want us to unlock, so let's unlock it. Imagine the surface and hold left button to create a path of shadows. Create shadows to move around unnoticed or to keep or to leap to previously lit surfaces. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you absorbed his aura. Amazing. Whatever it was, it seems to have made you stronger. Let's keep an eye out for more. Yeah, I do like the sound of more. Oh, you hold it to like... Ah, it's like you paint. Oh, well, I need more energy. Right. It wants to paint the uh, stay in the shadows a little bit. I like how he looks when he's like shrouded in darkness. Chapter 2, Call of the Shadows. So we're heading to the temple. But keeping an animal there that may be able to help us. Yes, it apparently has something to do with the magic they use to entrap me. You have to find it, Aragami. By the way, is it okay if I call you Aragami? I suppose. Right. Um. One over there. One to the right. I mean left. I think I saw somebody. Guys in vision range of two people. The one over there in the middle and the one in the back. I don't think I can go for him quite yet.
I think there's a shadow on top of uh, here, on top of the uh, gate. I'm gonna wait for him to come here, and then I will stab him right in the throat. Oh! Sh well, that worked out very well. <laughs> he just hit his face. I mean, he was dead by then, but. I think I know how to take out the other guy here. Without getting caught. Might be... Oh, this is useful. comes over here, that's gonna be really good. No way! Okay. Oh no, he's gonna fall. The guy over there is gonna see him probably. Can I jump up here? Uh oh. Okay, never mind. No! Okay, let's restart. Try again. I mean, I don't have to kill everybody. Obviously, but... As I suspected, the guy dying over here is a little bit of a problem. He gets spotted. Yeah. I think I have to go for him first. The one in the back. His friend. Kinda messed that up, but nobody saw that. He won't spot them at this at this range. Good. Uh oh. Ah, 
Damn it. A restart. Messed up. It's not easy, actually. Because <laughs> I don't have overview of the map. Mess that up. Wait for him to come here again. I definitely think just sneaking through without getting spotted is easier than uh, clearing out the map. Okay, that's a little buggy. Just a tiny bit. Just a little. Just a little bit buggy. Look at that dude. Maybe getting over there. Is a good one. over there is a problem. Guy in white. Honestly, that guy is also a problem, the one patrolling the gate. Sneak up behind this dude. I can. To wait until he's in the shadows over here. No. Other guy patrolling is there. Alright, can I get up? I think I can get up there. Like right up here. Until they just kill him here. <laughs> Problem is the guy patrolling up here. I mean, down there. Right here. You might spot him. Oh shit.
Well, I messed up. I sue. Well, not really. I'm gonna be dedu deducted some points. Not too thrilled about. But... What can I do? I think generally this first area is cleared now. Unless the guy over there is still there. I do not think so. I think he's... I think he moved uh, over here, actually. I think I know how to beat that. Really want to get him, and then I can take out the corners. Oh, shh. Set of negative points. I can't kill him from here. Interesting. AI is a little bit stupid, but generally are. <laughs> I mean, they're not that stupid, but they kind of forget. <laughs> there is an enemy lurking around, and somebody killed their friends kind of, kind of fast, like guard enemies. Uh, guard AI usually does. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be an A or a B. Oh, 
Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna get caught again, yeah. It's rough. Definitely. Wait, is this the golden opportunity I've been waiting for? It's actually kind of lucky. That turned out very well. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's very really useful. <laughs> okay, I isn't gonna get spotted by anyone. Are you serious? I thought it was a shadow there. No. Ugh, that's stupid. Oh no, this is bad. I didn't mean to pull both of them. Yeah, I didn't mean to pull both. Want to pull only one? Where is he? He's looking straight at me. Oh, here we go. Go for the kill? That's so weird. Well, this is definitely not gonna be A or B. For sure.
Oh. Okay. Almost trolled me there, game. See how sensitive they are. Not so sensitive. That's not what I wanted. Somehow I made that work. <laughs> We're pushing our luck here, I think. Damn it. Oh, I almost had him. He just teleported to the wall instead of... Uh... Ugh, that's stupid. Shadow Leap edged the uh, rock I was hiding behind instead of actually jumping to where I wanted to jump to. Ah. Oh, that's bad. We had that one. That sucks. It's a little bit annoying. Slightly annoying. Like I was I was going to jump like behind him, but then he got stuck on the wall, right? So it's uh pretty bad. Making it a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. By whom? There's only two corpses, ah. Uh. worked. Jesus. A little bit too close. I miscalculated the range there. Sometimes <laughs> I don't know if I'm misclicking or if the attack just doesn't come out.
Uh, sometimes my character is just standing there. <laughs> I'm just gonna blame it on misclicking. For the time being. It's happened a couple of times. That's brutal. Stab him right in the face. Oh shit. Standing there. Ugh. Yeah. Man, that one time when the Shadow Leap clipped the wall. That was the run. Sucks. That was it, you know. It was a pretty clean run. Can you jump, please. There you go. Before he calls in everyone else. Hopefully this guy will see them. He won't. Oh, there we go. And I don't think anyone else will spot those. Too much nonsense here. If I kill him here, he's gonna be spotted a hundred percent. He's so blind. There's one guy patrolling in here. I think we can take him. There it is. Oh, crap. No! I was in the shadows! Okay. It's kind of weird. Still trying to figure out exactly how the spotting mechanics work. There aren't that many shaders of uh, color here, so I'm not like it's not 100% apparent to me at least which shadow makes you invisible and which doesn't, and at what distance.
Oh, that guy's gonna spot. No, he's not. Okay, well, he's gonna see that guy eventually. So question mark. Get him before he blows his horn. Oh shoot shoot. What did that guy spot? Try to get to him. Since we've been spotted, let's just uh, massacre as many as we can. We're not doing the stealth anyways. Is that guy? Please turn in. Oh, damn it. Maybe I could have killed him here. So, so the guy in the back there. Out. Works out as well. Almost done. There's no screw ups, and we're done. One more. If my, if my counting is correct, there's one more. Two more. So my counting was not correct. Good to know. I think this is the last dude. I need to hurry up and get into the shadows.
Why can I not Ariel kill you? Okay, I think we're done. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Took a long time. It's okay, we're learning the game. I think I picked up everything. Oh, there was just one thing, right? I don't want to step into the water because I don't want to die. Up here, Aragami. Oh boy, there is more. <laughs> Guards are so tired of uh, tired of having to guard everything. <laughs> I want to see some action. I messed up. Let's free it and move on. Okay, so. In the end, we didn't end up killing everybody after all. <laughs> after all that stress. That one is probably killable. So is this. Those two looking at each other is a problem. <laughs> oh, there's a fifth one over here. Yeah, let's just uh, end the mission. There's no way I'm gonna, even gonna get a... good score out of this. So, do I jump down, or...? All of these are shadows. I can't really see what's going on behind here. Oh, it's just a wall. <gasps> I almost messed that up. Oh my god. That was so close to a mess up. 
If that guard had been going down here, I would have been spotted. Okay. It's a little bit hard sometimes to spot whether there is enough shadow or not. I'm sure I get the hang of it over time, but... Game looks pretty good though. I like the cartoon effect. Found him, he was scared. Visions, what do they mean? I don't know. But like I was there, I think I was using is it a light essence? You already use uh, if you already use shadow essence you can't be a light adept too, and you were born this evening, remember? But if I'm not seeing memories, then what am I seeing? Whose visions are these? Sorry, I don't know. Maybe we can figure it out on the way to the city. Right, how can the raven help us? He's been keeping an eye out on Kaio's activities. He should be able to lead us to the talisman. Talismans? Question mark? The magic seal that Kaio uses to imprison me takes its power from six talismans. We need them all to break it. So we need to get them all before rescuing you? Yes, and thanks to this raven it won't take all night to find them, hopefully. Why did they keep this raven locked up? Maybe they didn't want it to fall want it to fall into the wrong hands like ours. Why didn't they just kill it? Who knows? <laughs> Let's see. Now We got some new skills but unlocked. Your Raven Companion, Kurosu, will send... Will scout the level and show show you your current objectives. Okay. Kurosu marks your target, R, and keeps track of its location at all times. Oh, okay. Now the question is, how do I save? It's supposed to save automatically. What happens if I says, say restart checkpoint? Okay. Okay. I will end the episode here. I will go eat a kiwi. A kiwi fruit that is, not a kiwi bird. And then I will continue.
Så so, be right back.